Hey hey and welcome to this video. My name is Nina and today we are going to be decorating my Nook's Cranny. Now for this one I kind of gave myself a very hard time um, and it was fully my fault because I thought it was super super clever to put my shop at the beach but I kind of forgot that now I not only had to decorate nooks but also decorate nooks on a beach so <laughs> yeah I've been feeling very uninspired um, until I figured out that I wanted to create a little street market for Timmy and Tommy so that's what we are going to be doing today let's get started Now my plan for this was that I was going to be building different little stalls and where people could come and buy like, I don't know, pumpkins and more farmy stuff so that it kind of looked like a farmer's market. I kind of basically just threw a bunch of different items together and I, I'm not sure if my stalls make sense but they look cute and I wanted this to be kind of mismatched as it's a market and not everything would be very cohesive as there are different people selling different things. This video is also basically just me plastering my beach with barrels and flowers. Um, yeah, beaches are hard to decorate, okay? <laughs> Now I have kind of a cozy theme going on on my island and I thought the, the best way to bring that into this build was to kind of give every little stall a blanket that it would sit on so that everyone coming to this market would just walk between the blankets and like stop by and still feel very cozy as their feet will be on the blanket. In this first stall, I'm still not quite sure what it is. Um, it's basically just a color schemed stall as I wasn't sure what to do with it. You could see it as a continuation of the left part that we just built at that entrance of the market, like where the farmer would come to sell the pumpkins and like the products they made out of them. Um, but it, it doesn't really serve a purpose except for like looking aesthetic and fitting my theme. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you. 
And then I knew that I also wanted to add a little cafe and that ended up being right next to my nooks, which I really like as it kind of frames the building and kind of grounds it. I think it doesn't stand out as much, like nooks doesn't stand out as much now as it's kind of framed by the same wood tones I always use. To make this market feel very mismatched but still kind of coherent in color and theme, I tried to carry through a color scheme of like very subtle brownish greens, obviously dark browns, and also kind of orange yellow to just tie the whole area together and not make it feel too loud. I wanted it to be colorful and loud and, and fun but still like as it would fit my theme so yeah that's what I did that's why I added the pumpkins everywhere and also customized the um, classic picture to that yellowish orange ochre whatever um, color and also later in the cafe area I'm going to be adding a few pops of green and yellow to just again um, tie the whole place together Now this next stall is kind of a plant slash flower slash um, nature stall, I'm not sure, but I think it's the only stall that kind of has a theme. I mean, it is the only stall apart from that non-specified one as the, the one right to the left of Nooks is kind of a cafe. but. Yeah, I, I think I think it gives off the feeling of having a theme, you know? <laughs> I also always try to treat my beaches as just part of the island and not a beach. I'm probably going to be doing some very simple decor whenever I get around to doing all my beaches I'm probably going to be doing that in like one setting as I really don't enjoy doing them I think that's very relatable probably none of us do so this will be the most decorated one next to Melba's apple orchard so yeah I'm very exciting and 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 different for me <laughs> Now down here I just felt like the area was looking a bit empty so I just added that little cushion book and a um, what's that thing called the street the street organ so they would just tie in the the same colors and um, yeah I kind of just filled the space it doesn't really serve a purpose but I, I really like that area it's kind of one of my favorite spots of this uh, build so yeah
to the right of Nooks. I kind of decorated, I don't know, a few weeks ago um, when I felt very inspired and I just wanted to place a silo somewhere. So that's just another typical farming style part of this island as I just usually do just barrels, um, flowers, bushes, a silo and I think I threw a bamboo basket back there just to make it feel like a little storage place for Timmy and Tommy. Um, yeah, nothing too special but I think it gives a lot of height to this um, right side. You will see it later in the final walkthrough. So now we're tackling that little cafe as I mentioned before and here you can really see that I'm adding those yellow touches and I'm later going to be adding a wedding cake which carries the orange and light brown and also um, some of the green tones. And now I'm just adding more of those cake items as I imagine the cafe to be cafe but also like a little cake shop. Yeah, then add the 12 grape dish to again bring in the green. Also apologies if you can hear the rain or wind. It's kind of storming and I'm not sure why as we had like um, super super warm and sunny weather the other day and now it's like two degrees uh, Celsius and like super windy. We even had some snow earlier. So I don't know what that's about but um, I I'm, I'm liking it. I, that's, I prefer the wind and, and cold weather over sun and super hot temperatures, so yeah. Also let me know if I'm alone with that, because I always say I'm a winter person, I love winter and, and never, like no one ever agrees with me, except for one friend of mine, but she also kind of likes. Also watch me changing my mind again and again and again over the placement of those flowers. Um, I, I just felt like some areas felt a little too full and cluttered and I didn't want to go overboard as this still is a beach even though I kind of hate that it's a beach but you, you get me? So yeah, I, I just changed my mind over and over again and I also didn't have pansy seeds in my shop so as soon as I will get like yellow or white or whatever um, pansy seeds I will probably replace some of the mum flower seeds that I just planted to fill the area and kind of give some variation to the flowers and weeds. Yeah, so those will probably change. Um, but yeah, for now it's mum seeds, or is it is it sprouts or something? Yeah, you know what I mean. Thank you. 
And then I just kind of removed some of the pothing I did uh, a couple of weeks, <laughs> a couple of years, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, because I wanted to add a few flowers over there too, to kind of not make it feel like two separate areas as it was very heavily pothed and I, I don't like that. So just wanted to make it feel more natural and overgrown again, as I always do. <laughs> And that wraps up the build for today. I can now finally cross nooks, cranny decorations off my list of buildings that I still need to do. So I'm super happy we got that done today. I also really like the outcome. I did not expect that. I, I expected that I would need to tear everything down and just let it marinate like let the empty space marinate again until my brain comes up with anything else. I'm going to leave you now with a montage of the finished product. If you enjoyed this video, I would very much appreciate it if you like and subscribe to my channel. You are super welcome here. And yeah, take care of yourself. Until next time and bye bye.